guys, welcome back to Protecting Our Watersheds. Today we're going to be talking about uh, water conservation, but before we dive into that, we're going to review a little bit about the water cycle we learned last time. And we're also going to take a look at the activity that we left last time. And it's been sitting for me uh, for about two days now in the sun. And we're going to go check out to see what happened. Follow me. Okay, so before I move these, I wanted to show you where I've left my cup sitting for two days in the sun here. But if you look at the one that had the closed cup on top, our chamber, when I move the camera in different angles, you can see on the sides of the cup that we have what looks like condensation that has formed along the sides. And you might also notice there are some spots where some water droplets have formed. So we haven't touched this for two days. So how did the water get from down there to up there? If you remember from the water cycle, we looked at how water, when it heats up, it'll turn into water vapor and that will rise to the top of the cup. And then as that condenses, we're getting that condensation along the sides of the cups there. And if this were to continue sitting long enough, I bet you those would kind of form some bigger water droplets and precipitate down the sides back down there. And that's created our own water chamber in the water cycle. So now that I've looked at these without touching them, we're gonna look at the other cup as well, but I'm gonna move these so it's a little easier for us to see. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and moved my cup, so hopefully you can see the water level a little bit better. But let's compare the two. So if we look at our water cycle chamber on the right, our water level is still at the same place it was before. But the one on the left, it might be hard to see right now, but if you look closely, you can tell that the water level is a little bit lower than the cup on the right. And why do you think that happened? That's pretty cool, right? So the one on the right in our water chamber cycle, it kept the water in the cup because as it goes through the water cycle and water is turning into water vapor and it condenses and cools at the top of the cup and then it precipitates down the sides, it's keeping that water inside the cup. But the one on the left without that cup on top Water is evaporating out into the room and into the air and isn't being directed back into the cup. So over time, we're slowly losing water in this cup to evaporation. So if you were to leave this out longer for a couple more days or maybe a week, maybe even two weeks, we would lose a lot of water in this cup on the left. And of course, if it was the summertime and it was a lot hotter out and the sunlight was a lot stronger, then we would probably have even more evaporation. Pretty cool. So thanks for exploring the water cycle with us. Now on to water conservation. <laughs> 